This is R.D. Sharma Solution, Class 12, Chapter 19. Exercise is 19.2. Indefinite integrals we are taking. 1 plus x to the power 3. And this one is divided by under root x. So in this question, there is uh, no difference with what we have done in the previous 6 questions. Integration of x raised n is simply x raised n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. And plus the constant of c. That is integration constant. So what do we do here? Please remember under root x is nothing but x raised half, x to the power half. 1 plus x whole cube, we have to use the formula a plus b whole cube. Just uh, remember if you don't uh, know the formula, don't panic. If 1x to the 1 plus x to the power 4 is there, you just can do 1 plus x square into 1 plus x square. a plus b whole square you already know. So a plus b whole square formula you can use and then multiply the two terms. If 1 plus x whole cube is there, then you can just do 1 plus x square into 1 plus x. Now a plus b whole square is uh, very common and very you know memorable. So when we start the integration, this 1 plus whole cube I'm going to open. This will be 1 plus x cube. So just do it like 1 plus x into 1 plus x square. You'll get 1 plus x cube plus 3x plus 3x square. And this is a plus b whole cube. a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. This is what the formula is. In the denominator we have under root x, you can write it as x to the power half. Now this is all going with dx. Now separate them out. 1 by x to the power half. Then x half in the denominator will go up and form x raised negative half. x cube divided by x half. You have x cube and then x half half will go up. So 3 minus half it will be. 3 minus half is uh, 6 minus 1 by 2 that is going to be 5 by 2. So we have x raised 5 by 2. Then we have next one which is uh, 3 is already a constant x divided by x raised half. So x raised half, negative half goes up 1 minus half is half only. Here 3 x square will remain like that x square divided by x half. So x square x x negative half goes up. This is 2 minus 1 by 2. This is 4 minus 1 by 2. This is 3 by 2. So this is 3 x, q, x to the power 3 by 2. This all goes with a dx. Now just separate them out. Integration of x raised minus half. dx is with every term. So we have a mutual commitment that dx I will not write. And you will understand that dx is already there. So I am separating them out. Just take the constant out. So here we have 3x raised 3 by 2. And uh, now integration of this. As I told you, you will use the formula x raised n plus 1 by n plus 1. X is negative half plus 1, negative half plus 1, plus x raised 5 by 2 plus 1 divided by 5 by 2 plus 1. Here also 3x raised half plus 1 divided by half plus 1. Here 3 is a constant. x 3 by 2 is x 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1. Now, what is the final thing? 1 minus half is half only. So half, when it goes up from the denominator, it will form 2. So we have x raised half. You know already it is under root x. Here also. 5 by 2 plus 1 is 7 by 2. This goes up and it will be 2 by 7. This is x, x raised 5 by 2 plus 1. It will be x raised 5, 7 by 2. Here also x raised half plus 1. It will be x raised 3 by 2. And half plus 1 is again 3 by 2. This goes up. So this 3 by 2. When it goes up, it will be 2 by 3. 3, 3 gets cancelled. So you will get 2 only in the numerator. x raised power 3 by 2 is already there. Here also we have 3 by 2 plus 1, which is actually 3 plus 5 by 2. So this 5, 2 goes up, 5 goes down, so it will be 3 to 2, 6. x raised 5 by 2. And now the constant of integration. So these are all the different steps to finally achieve at the answer. And these are the side things which we, need, we discussed. So this is how it is done. So this is the step by step solution of the question with the constant of integration please remember dx is always there whenever we have this snake like figure you ought to have a dx with it next one is this one so x square e raised log s e by 2 raise x so let, let us discuss them separately x square will not be a problem because you know that x raise n integration is x raise n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus constant of integration and this e raise log x now if nothing is given, just assume that the law base is E. And you already know E raised log E, we have discussed in the first exercise also, it will be cancelled, only X will remain. So this E raised log X is simply X. Coming to E by 2 X, E by 2 is a constant. 
e by 2 e is 2.7 something so we have this e by 2 we call it as a so integration of a raised x is a raised x by ln a a will be taken as e by 2 now let us do it now so we have dx along with this so integration of x square plus integration of e log x i told you it's only x and uh, the next one everywhere dx is already embedded so e by 2 is a constant a is x uh, we'll use the formula here x square is x cube by 3 we uh, use this formula x square by 2 again use that formula and this is a raised x and a is e by 2 in this case so we have e by 2 raised x divided by ln a that is the log base e a ln e by 2 and then we have the cos plus constant constant c constant of integration this is your final answer so these are this is a very easy question only need to remember the relationships now here we have x and e in different formation x to the power e is simply x raised n because e is a constant so it will we will use x raised n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c and we will just use n as e here how about e to the power x e to the power x integration and differentiation are same e raise x will be e raise x only okay the third one is e raise e see e is a constant constant to the power constant is constant only so we'll deal it because you know that e value is 2.7 for example if you have 2 2 raise 2 is 2 is is a constant again 4 is a constant only so same thing here same logic will apply here so now we'll separate them out x raise e dx is already there then e raise x with a dx e raise e with a dx so x raise e the basic formula of integration we are going to employ x raise e plus 1 by e plus 1 then here we have e raise x so it will be e raise x only e to the power x then this will be constant we'll take it out we have to just differentiate dx and you already know integration of dx is x only so x differentiation let us write it here only x e raise e and what will be the final thing the constant of integration so this is your final solution so what we discussed is here and please remember this may be confusing because it is all x and e but you need to concentrate next one is also very straightforward it's it will be x to the power n integration will use please remember under root x is simply x raised power half so we are multiplying it here so x to the power half multiplied by x cube so the power gets added half plus 3 is 3 plus half is 6 plus 1 by 2 that is 7 by 2 so x raised 7 by 2 it is now i just uh, reduce the step in order to you know go through it quick quickly uh, this is the time of shots so under root x dot 2 by x x to the power half is under root x x goes up x minus 1 so half minus 1 is 2 is already there half minus 1 is negative half so we have x raised minus half that we need to deal with 2 is already there so what is the final thing 2x raised minus half with dx the integration of x raised 7 by 2 dx minus twice go comes up x raised minus half dx and we'll use the formula you already know about it x raised 7 by 2 plus 1 divided by 7 by 2 plus 1 so it will be 9 by 2 and 9 by 2 it goes up because 1 by 9 by 2 is 2 by 9 so we'll use that 2 by 9 here 2 by 9 minus twice of this x raised minus half and you already know we'll use that x raised n formula x raised minus half x raised minus half x raised minus half plus 1 minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 so it will be x raised half by a half 2 goes up so this 2 and 2 will form 2 into 2 is 4 and this is x raised x raised half so it will be it will be under root x so 4 root x you will get 4 root x plus constant constant of integration this is your final answer so this is one by one uh, stepwise explanation now here also the same thing root x again because this will be you know embedded into your mind x half x raised half is under root x so one by under root x we are talking about x raised minus half it is when it goes up always you know when whenever the power goes up it will be negative so x raised negative half and one plus one by x is already there one by x is simply x raised minus one so you can write it as, as x raised minus one now multiply inside so and then separate them out also x raised minus half into one is x raised minus half only and x raised minus half into x raised minus 1 will be minus half minus 1. So it's simply you can take minus 
out minus half plus one is three by two. So you get three by two with negative sign. X raised negative three by two. So X raised negative three by two. And this is going inside the integration, but we have separate them, separated them out. So d by dx will find out x raised minus half plus one divided by minus half plus one. Here x raised minus three by two plus one divided by minus three by two plus one. I'll just do it now, and I'm uh, ignoring now or removing the integration side. Here x raised minus three by two plus one minus three by two plus one, and this what will be final? One minus half is half only. One minus half here is half. So two one. This is x raised. Because well, the denominator will go up, so x raised half. X raised half is root x only. Plus, this is x raised. See, we I I already know that negative will come from the denominator. X raised minus three by two plus one. One minus three by two actually it is. So two minus three by two is minus half only. So x minus half is uh, will will take it in the denominator if you want. So x raised negative half divided by minus half. Minus is already there. We have dealt with it. 2 goes up, x raised minus half, and we don't write it as x raised minus half. It will go down. When it goes down, x raised half is under root x. So 1 by root x. So it will be under root x. This is your final result with a constant. This is your final result, and this is how you are going to do it. It should look like this, and final solution is this one. Now here uh, you have to be a very you know little tricky. What I am trying to say is. Because we need to cancel that x square plus one in order to deal with this integration. Because a cube plus b cube is what? It's a plus b a square plus b square minus ab. A cube plus b cube formula is this one, and you can get it from a plus b whole square whole cube also. But this x to the power six can be written as x square to the power three. Three and two will get multiplied, and one cube you can write always one cube. One to the any power is one only. So a will take it as x square b is as one. So what is the formula? Formula will be x square plus one because a is x square, b is one. A this a square plus b square minus ab x raised four plus this b square that is one minus ab minus x square. Okay, what do you get? Because we have already you know used this formula a cube plus b cube. Let us uh, you can say simplify it. X square plus one. I'm writing this as x square plus one x raised four plus one minus x square. And in the denominator, you have x square plus one. Now, this x square plus one can be cancelled. The the benefit of doing or applying this a cube plus b cube for this numerator, x square plus one get cancelled. And we'll use this x raised n plus one by n plus one for integration of x raised n because that is what is is only left in this question. One by one term, just forget about these because this is already cancelled. Integration of x raised four, then integration of this dx. Then integration of this x square. So this x square dx, dx is everywhere minus integration of x square and dx. X raised four is x raised four four uh, plus one by four plus one. Integration of dx is x only minus x raised two plus one by two plus one. So you have x raised three by three. It's constant of integration because we have to eliminate this integration sign. So x raised five divided by five, and then we have plus x here. And we always, uh, you know, use the descending order of powers. So I'm taking this x cube by three first, and then the plus x later, plus c. This is the final solution. So if you are aware of this a cube plus b cube, that will really make your life easier. If you remember those formula before your exam, two or three days before, so it will be beneficial in solving this type of question because otherwise it will be very difficult for you. So this is the final result. This formula, I hope now you know it, where to apply it, how to apply it. So this is the formula which I was talking about, and uh, the result of the integration is quite easy because x raised n integration is only done here. Next one is is uh, we are not applying any formula here, but let us take one by one. Third root of x is simply x raised to the power one by three. So this goes on power. Anything with the root means anything with nth root. It goes to the power with one by now x raised negative one by three and what do you have in the denominator? I'm se separating them out. Denominator x raised one by three and so the second term will be under root x is x raised half. Denominator is of course x raised one by three. Then you have here two x raised one by three and now we'll we have to take the all the denominators to the numerator with the negative sign. 
I'm separating them out also one by one. So we have x raised minus 1 by 3, 1 by 3 goes up, it will be minus 1 by 3 only. Minus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3 is a minus 2 by 3. So x raised minus 2 by 3, so this, this is under integration. We have not uh, yet integrated it, I'm just saying that we are resolving it. x is negative 2 by 3 d dx. Again, this x raised 1 by 3 goes up, x is half is already there. So half minus 1 by 3 is 3 minus 2 by 6, that is 1 by 6. So x raised 1 by 6 we have to integrate. Here we have 2 divided by x raised 1 by 3, this goes up, x raised negative 1 by 3 you have to integrate with a dx. Now just separate integration, just a formula x raised n integration is x raised n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus constant of integration that you already know up till now. Okay. So this goes x raised negative 2 by 3 plus 1, denominator negative 2 by 3 plus 1. Here x raised 1 by 6 plus 1 divided by 1 by 6 plus 1. Here you have twice x raised negative 1 by 3 plus 1 divided by negative 1 by 3 plus 1. Okay, this is solved. You have to use the constant of integration here only. What is uh, 1 minus 2 by 3? We already done this. 3 minus 2 by 3, that is 1 by 3. So in the numerator, you have x 1 by 3 because the denominator 1 by 3, 3 goes up. 3x raised 1 by 3. Here also x raised 1 by 6 plus 1. This is 1 plus 6 by 1 plus 6 by 6. That is, it will be 7 by 6. So x raised 7 by 6. Denominator is 7 by 6. It goes up. It will be 6 by 7. 6 by 7 plus twice of x raised 1 minus 1 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 3 is what? Let us do it. 1 minus 1 by 3 is 3 minus 1 by 3. That is 2 by 3. So this is x raised 2 by 3, 2 by 3 goes up. So 3 by 2, it will be 2, 2 gets cancelled. So 3 x raised 3, 6 by 7 x raised 7 by 6 and plus thrice of x raised 2 by 3 with a constant of integration. This is your final result. So this is how you are going to write it. It's more clear, clearer than my handwriting. So you are able to understand more of it. Next one is simply like this only. 1 plus under root x whole square is what? a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So 1 square plus under root x whole square plus twice of under root x. So this is twice into 1 into under root x. So under root x is, is x raised half. When you square it, 2 into 1 by 2 cancels out. And what is this? 2 root under, two root under uh, 2 under root x. And in the denominator, you have under root x that is x raised half. So let us have under root x in the denominator. And this, you can take it in the numerator, x raised half goes up, it will be x raised minus half. And uh, x raised minus half you can write here. What about this one, x by under root x, this is x raised 1 and you have x raised negative half, 1 minus half is x is half only. So x to the power half, here it gets cancelled too. So final, in, final simplified way of integrating it is x raised minus half dx plus x to the power half dx. And then you have twice of dx2. You can take it out because it is a constant. You can have discussion only on integration of dx. So x raised minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 plus x raised half plus 1 integration just remove it because this is after integration. x raised half plus 1 by half plus 1 and this is integration of dx. Just remember it is only x. Constant of integration. What is this? 1 minus half is half only. And denominator 1 minus half. So half goes up, it will be 2. And this is under root x is only x raised half only. x to the power half plus 1, x raised 3 by 2, it will be. Denominator is 3 by 2, when it goes up, it will be 2 by 3. So it's not 2 by 2, it's 2 by 3 actually. 2x plus c, this is your final result. So this is your final result. So this is how the final uh, solution should look when you do it in your exam or in your classwork. Now we have this similar type of question. Under root x is a x raised half. Inside this we have 3 minus 5x. You can just multiply it. 3 into x raised half and minus 5 into x into x raised half. So this is 1 plus 1 by 2. 3x half remains same. Fine. x 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. So it's x raised 3 by 2. Now integration. We are going to integrate. So 3 I am taking out. x raised half will remain like this. dx minus 5 I am taking out because it is a constant. x raised 3 by 2 and uh, with dx of course 3 x raised half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 with a dx no no dx integration is already done 
x is 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 1 plus 1 when you whenever you just remember whenever you eliminate dx you have to add a constant of integration so x raised half is x raised 3 by 2 this uh, 2 by 3 goes up 3 3 gets cancelled so you have x raised uh, 3 by 2 with a 2 here minus 5 this is 3 by 2 plus 1 it is 5 by 2 actually 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 and in the denominator it is 2, uh, 5 by 2 it goes up 2 by 5 will there will be there only 2 will remain so this is 2x 5 by 2 you can take 2 common if you want x is 3 by 2 minus x is 5 by 2 that is also an option to display the answer so i hope this is quite clear to you because we have already done 15 questions up till now so this is your final result okay this question we are going to take in the next discussion till then thank you so much and take care of yourself